Remove the outboard bearing from the non-drive end head and verify the position of the lubrication ring is aligned with the grease fitting on the exterior of the non-drive end head. Additionally, check the inner bearing race for discoloration, play, and smooth movement. Use a suitable NLGI Grade 2 bearing grease for the shaft bearing. Do not over lubricate as an excessively packed bearing will overheat and fail prematurely. Frequency of lubrication is dependent on the environment. Lubricate daily if it comes in contact with water or steam. Otherwise, lubricate on a weekly basis. The drive end head does not have a bearing. Warning. Never immerse the front mutator shaft bearing in cleaning solution or subject it to steam. Clean the bearing with a dry cloth and lubricate. Inspection of the bearing should be ongoing. If looseness is detected, replace the bearing immediately. Worn out bearings can cause shaft misalignment that will cause the mechanical seals and gearbox to wear out prematurely. Keep all shaft surfaces smooth and clean, especially in seal and bearing areas. Take special care while cleaning and maintaining the bearing and seals to ensure that these areas of the shaft are not scratched or damaged. A bent or imbalanced shaft will cause premature bearing, seal, and blade wear and may damage tube walls. Check the shafts annually for straightness and balance. Next, remove the product head o-ring and inspect for cuts, abrasions, and elasticity. Clean and lubricate the product head o-ring groove before installing the new o-ring. Finally, the stationary seals for both the non-drive and drive end head should be removed to ensure the seal face and o-rings are replaced if necessary. To remove the stationary seal components, the small diameter end of the seal installation and removal tool can be utilized. Lay the seal tool with the small diameter end facing upward on a steady surface and lower the non-drive end and drive end heads down onto the tool and push firmly on the head to dislodge the stationary single or double mechanical seal components from the head bore. Remove, inspect, and replace both O-rings held in the stationary single mechanical stainless steel seal seat, seal head insert, and when applicable, the double mechanical stationary seal ring. Before reinstalling the stationary seal component, clean the product head o-ring groove and stationary seal bore thoroughly. Lubricate the outer circumference of the stainless steel seal seat, o-ring, and head bore. Align the anti-rotational pen located on the bottom side of the stainless steel seal seat to the adjoining pen slot located in the bottom of the head cavity. Then insert the seal into the head up to the o-ring. Utilize the large diameter end of the seal installation and removal tool and align the tool slots with the seal seat. Next, position the paddle into the tool groove on the small diameter end and position the larger paddle ends between the head locking lugs. Position your hands above and rest them on either side of the paddle and push firmly into the head cavity. Inspect the margin between the seat seal and head bore to ensure the anti-rotational pen is seated in the pen slot. Remove the paddle and twist the seat installation and removal tool to seat the anti-rotational pen if it is misaligned. Again, check the margin gap to verify the pen is properly seated. Finally, insert the stationary seal head insert up to the O-rings in the head cavity and align the lugs on the seal seat adjustment lugs. Once alignment is verified, insert the large diameter end of the seal installation and removal tool into the seal head insert with the paddle in the groove. Again, position your hands above and rest them on either side of the paddle and push firmly into the seal. Remove the tool and paddle and verify the seal seat and seal head insert are properly seated together. If a double mechanical seal is present, the stationary seal ring should be positioned on the inside diameter of the stainless steel seal seat. Insert the small diameter end of the seal installation and removal tool onto the double mechanical seal ring with the paddle in the groove and push firmly into position.
This maintenance activity is the same procedure for both the drive and non-drive end heads. Next, prepare the product head O-ring by lightly stretching and lubricating it with a standard food grade lubricant. Insert it into the product head O-ring groove and add several small dollops of food grade grease around the perimeter to secure the O-ring during the head installation onto the cylinder. Position the non-drive end head with the bearing cavity facing upwards so the front end bearing can be reinstalled. Align the lubrication ring to the grease fitting and insert the bearing. The non-drive end extra heavy duty head is also positioned with the bearing cavity facing upward to accept the sealed for life bearing installation. This completes the removal, inspection, and assembly of the components that are internal to the non-drive end and drive end heads for both the single and double mechanical seal arrangements. To order genuine replacement parts or tools, contact your authorized SPX Flow sales representative or visit www.spxflow.com/wcb for more information.